Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to be showing you how to use the ClickFunnels 2.0 SEO settings in case you want to pinpoint them. This tutorial is going to help you with that. As always, if you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels 2.0 or maybe you're a customer looking to utilize this tutorial, I will leave my link down below for either your free trial or easy access. Let's begin. So over on the left side of the screen, there's going to be sales and funnels. That's where I am now. You're going to want to click on the funnels button or tab link, whatever you want to call it. Once you are there, you're going to see your funnels and the specific funnel that you want to edit just right now is going to be the bridge funnel for me. So I'm going to click on that. And all you need to do is you're going to go to each specific page and choose these settings for it. I'm just going to go down to this one here. Let's click on this three dots right here and go to the page settings. Okay, so we have our name, we have our description, and here is going to be the SEO and sharing section. So add a title and description to see how this page might appear in search engine listing. Doesn't hurt to do, right? Even if you're not heavy on SEO or that's not your main point, it's cool to at least have a title and description in the uh, first place. Click on edit SEO and sharing. Okay, so we have our page title. Let's give it a random page name. Okay, so for example, I put a sales funnel training video. Obviously, this is going to change based upon what your page title is. If you're offering something for free, you can put something related to that, whether it's a lead magnet, an opt-in, or like a download page. It could be congratulations, your next step. There's plenty of great ideas. If you need help with ideas, just leave a comment down below. I should be able to help you out. And of course, page description, a clear description, at least two sentences long. Longer is better, but max is 160 characters. Keep Keep in mind, if you're going in the SEO route, you want to probably front load your keyword there. For example, if you were going after sales funnel training, you know, or something like that, or if you're doing like, you know, best sales funnel training, whatever it's going to be, you're going to want to include that in the title and probably somewhere in the page description. Let me give you an example. I'll write it in and come back to you. All right, so in the sales funnel training, I'm going to show you how to create a sales funnel or a funnel from A to Z. Pretty simple description, but like it says, max is 160 characters, so you don't get a ton of room there, but that's going to be the settings where you can edit your SEO and sharing. And of course, uh, when you're done, click on update page. And just like that, your SEO settings have been updated. You're going to also need to do the same thing with each, every other page. I'm not going to do that for you just because you know how it's done now and you can kind of go in, change it around and edit to your SEO liking. So that about does it when it comes to this ClickFunnels 2.0 SEO tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And like I said before, if you haven't gotten to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, that link for the free trial will be in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.